Okay, let's see what we can do here to uh, put closed captions into a YouTube video. So the video I'd like to use is this one, and it's one that I uh, use as an intro for um, a course in the fall. Now, when you find the video that you'd like to put your closed captioning into, You'll see edit info, edit video, then insight, and then you have a drop down menu. And one of the things is captions and subtitles. So we'll click on that. Now, I'm going to start off looking at cases where there is a machine transcription. And with a machine transcription, what has happened is that the soundtrack for your video has been passed through by Google, YouTube, has been passed through a um, voice recognition software and has put together then a transcript of what you may or may not have actually said. Typically with these, the wording is completely off. It's completely wrong. But the good thing is that the timing is very accurate. So one way to go is to use the machine transcription to get the timing right. Every once in a while, the, the wording will be pretty good, but typically it's not, okay? So for that, download and then you'll be given a choice of open or save and I recommend that you then choose open and you will get then output in which you have the timing the start time, comma, the end time, and then what the voice recognition software attributes to you. And um, then that goes all the way through. So at this point, you have two choices, really, assuming that it's like this, not very good. One would be to watch the video on some second device, say an iPhone or an iPod Touch, and then correct it as you go along. So listen and then correct. Type it in and uh, correct. But before you do that, you will have to, if I try to type it here, and it was really high, I'm Fred Cold, you're not able to do that. So what you can do though then is select it okay, and then put it into a notepad file and then here then you could you could change it. So it really started high And then um, this spread crawl was actually Fred Cold. So it says something about my enunciation, maybe says something about the camera microphone, but I think it says more about Google. It's uh, voice recognition. Okay, so you've got that. Now, the really good thing is the timing, the bad thing is what you said. And so what you really would need to do then, as I said, either listen to the um, video and correct it, or start off with a transcript, which will mean at some point you will have had to um, either work from the transcript or you'll have to um, listen to it and create a transcript. Either way, I find that what works best for me is to have a transcript. So in this case, I had a transcript.
here was a transcript. And then what I did was I went from that transcript and then I typed in, I typed in correctly what all the things were. Okay? So this is then how it looks, keeping the timing, keeping the timing, but typing in what I really said. And I did that off the transcript. And, you know, it took a few minutes to do that. But that's something that someone could, um, could do for you. And they could create the transcript for you. Okay, now I want to, fi to go File. I want to do a Save As. Remember, this is in Notepad. Okay, I'll give it a name then, and it will be, I'll call it um, C Captions for um, 703 Video. And then I'm going to put SBV because that is the format. Now, this is a format. This is a format that involves timing. And then for the save as type, I want to select all files. Select all files. And then for the encoding, for the encoding, I want to select UTF-8. Why? I have no idea, but that's what works. Now, I'll make sure I save in the right place. So now I'll save that. Okay, so now we go back to the YouTube. And I will add a caption track. So add new caption or transcript. So captions have time. Transcript doesn't. So the caption has time. So it's going to be a caption. So it includes the time codes, but I've got those in. And captions for 703. I always put that SBV as a reminder. I don't think that it's necessary, though. So that's there. And now I'm going to upload. And let's hope it doesn't say error. Let's see what happens. Click on the Hi, my name is Fred Kolb, and when I'm not tending to my cows and making cheese here in the Alps, Switzerland, I go down to my solar-powered barn and I teach online courses to students in the United States. Now with the very weak dollar, it's a lot more profitable to be making the cheese but I do love the teaching, and I'm looking forward to working with you. For this course, it's a course in microeconomics, which focuses on the small units, individual decision-making, and also the decision-making of businesses. I think you'll find lots of the rules and concepts will have everyday practical application. The information about the textbook and the... Um, outline that we'll be following is all given um, below in the first news item and so take a good close look at that i really look forward to working with you if any of you have a chance to get to switzerland during the course and you're willing to milk some cows then i've got a barn for you to work in okay let's do a good job thanks okay so it did work
and I don't know if you were able to um, hear the um, soundtrack since I have the um, headphones and I don't know what happens with that. But there we go. It's set to go and that wasn't that hard. So the key steps um, were, you know, you copy it, you get it into a notepad, a text file, and then you save it for all files and that UTF-8 um, uh, format. Okay? And don't worry too much if it says there's an error. It says that um, even when there's not a problem. But the fact that it showed it um, with a click, then that was a good thing. Okay, um, that'll be that. And then I'll make another video showing the, the second way to do it. Great, thanks.